all right, notorious for his flamboyant lifestyle. Flashy clothes, fancy parties, <laughs> fine women. Are you his daughter? Mm, are you his daughter? Yeah. Been, 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 pull, been pulling bad bitches. All right, this is back in the day, Kamala, you know, on the come up. A hoe making moves, you know. This is a Kamala is just prime example of of hoes winning, and what you know when bitches are, are are capable of doing in this country just by using their pussy. You know, unless you this is a prime example of just winning. Look at that come up right here, being a side piece to to you know to some to this nigga, to moving up. She she did it. She did what she was supposed to do. She did what she was supposed to do. Nigga. You know. This one it is what it is. See parties, fine women, and fast cars. You should from now on. And this this nigga never had a hairline. This was what 30 years ago? I mean, this goes to show this goes to show right here. You don't need a hairline to, to get closer to do what you gotta do. You just gotta be about to show. You know, this nigga ain't this nigga, this what is 30 years ago? This nigga still ain't have a hairline. 30 30 years. This nigga, how old is this nigga now? Fuck. This nigga look like he's 50 back. This how old is this nigga now? Flashy clothes, fancy parties, <laughs> fine women. Are you his daughter? <laughs> and fast cars. You should from now on address me as the if ever a man and a municipality were made for each other, it is this man, this place. He's a rogue, all right. All right, so he was living a good life. All right, all right Willie Brown, he, Willie Brown was living a good life, all right? Still living now, doing his thing. Uh, I didn't even notice he was still alive, you know, but, um, you know, they got him on the interview. And so they got him on the interview, right? And, you know, you know, still, you know, he's like, man, one of my hoes and got this far. Maybe, maybe he, he might still be trying to get back in. I don't blame him. All right. Willie Brown still might try to, he still might be trying to get back in. And I don't blame him at all. I mean, you, if I wake up and see one of my old hoes taking a prominent position, you guys might catch me on the interview too. You know, yes, I miss her so much. It was just, we just had a beautiful time back then. Then one of my old hoes pop up as like a rich, famous CEO. Yes, back in the day, we was so in love. Let's see what's going on right now, man. Willie Brown, he's doing it. He's now he's talking about the time they had back in the day. You were portrayed as a rogue politician, known for your flamboyant style, flashy clothes, fancy parties, and associated with fine women. With Kamala Harris's featured in the footage, in one clip, a reporter asked her. Are you his daughter? Given that this footage is now resurfacing just hours before Kamala Harris's first debate against Donald Trump, what are your thoughts on how this portrayal may impact the public's perception of both you and Kamala Harris today? And do you believe this has any relevance in the current political climate? I don't think that it will prove to be a disability as one would try to make it for use on Donald Trump's behalf. After all, Donald Trump has been convicted of the 34 counts of things that he was doing on the money side, but even more dramatically, he has been accused and in right, here we got a nigga trying to shift the blame to Trump. Hey, hey look, look, I might like a player, but you know, Trump, he was he been convicted. He's been accused of these things. You know, I, that's just a video. And nigga trying to throw the nigga trying to throw the now then he asked you about is the video going to affect Kamala? These niggas always gotta go back to Trump and shit, man. Civil proceedings held accountable for trying to hide his relationship in which he paid for, period. And so it would have to be somebody trying to erode the clear 
quality reputation that Kamala Harris has and trying to make it as negative as the interpretation of Donald Trump. Therefore, I do not believe that such a comparison by anybody would have any effect on this decision on Kamala Harris's. He gonna, he gonna ride for that pussy. Of course, you know, it makes sense. You know, he, he thinking, no, nah, no, nah, it ain't gonna affect her. Now, it ain't gonna affect my baby. I don't give a fuck if she is married again. Now, nah, it ain't gonna affect her. And he he doing what he's supposed to Hey, he ride, he ride. I mean, they was fucking. I mean, why would they not ride? Why would he not ride for her? You know? He making sure he putting a good word for her. Qualifications. You know he hollered at her before this interview. You know, had to make sure. Thank you. I also want to say that just as an observation, I was sitting and looking at a picture of you and Kamala back in 94. You guys made a great couple. She's very, she was very beautiful then. She's very beautiful now. Um, do you still love her? Very much so. Mmm. Mm, trying to get back in. You know, niggas got that game. She, you know, she watching that video like, hmm. Yo, over here shooting this shot, trying to get back in. Yeah, he, he trying to get back in. He, he, try, he trying to get back in. I don't blame him. Uh-oh, hold on. Is he married, though? Uh-oh. Hold on. Is he married? Uh-oh. I don't know if he's married or not. If he, if he, you know, that old nigga, he's going to get his ass beat when he get back home. Uh-oh. But anyway, yo, he trying to get his, he, you know, he trying to, he trying to get back in, you know, trying to get in the, he trying to, he, he trying to start back up again. Look at this nigga trying to be, think he's slick. It might work though. You know, hoes love shit like this. Hoes love, you know, public decoration from a, she probably in at the White House watching this shit. You know, she, you never know. They might, she might be trying to rekindle something. I mean, he might be, they might rekindle something. Mr. Brown, what specific strategies do you believe Kamala Harris needs to employ to secure? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, that's all. That's, yeah, you gonna, hold on. You just gonna let that ride? What kind of journalism is that? You're supposed to capitalize on that. Would you ever get back with her? Would you ever? Of you and Kamala back in '94, you guys made a great couple. She's very, she was very beautiful then. She's very beautiful now. Um, do you still love her? Very much so. Mr. Brown, what specific strategies do you believe Kamala Harris? Long ass pause. Nah, he's supposed to build on that. Gonna talk about some strategies and shit. He's supposed to goddamn build on that. He's supposed to put him on the spot, man. He's supposed to come on, man. I would man. If I, <laughs> he's supposed to build on that. He's supposed to say, hey, okay, dude, what, would you have to get back with it? Would you think she'd break up, break up with her husband for you? She might as well go all in. She might as well go all in. That nigga, he ain't give a fuck. Yo, that's how you know niggas don't give a fuck. She got a whole husband. He don't give a shit. I still love her very much so. He don't give a fuck about that nigga. Whatever, whoever her husband is, he don't give a fuck. You know, it is what it is, bro. Nigga, he he still, you know, he competing for that pussy. He still, he still want to get back in. You know? Needs to employ to secure a win. In the upcoming debate against Donald yeah, Trump. Yeah, yeah. Leave that white boy alone, baby. Come back home. Come back home. Somebody said he didn't go all in because at the end. Well, anyway. I think Kamala Harris's team, starting a month ago or more, when she was tapped by uh, Joe. JC said, oh, that pussy was real good. Hell yeah, bro. That nigga still on a public live on a public platform knowing she's married that's actually you know when it comes to that level you know it's actually you know bad optics for them but he's old as fuck so he don't give a fuck his career over he retired he good but uh you know it's just <laughs> biden the president to become his candidate in the absence of his leaving the fray uh, I think that uh, everything that they have done to expose her to the public has given her the opportunity to solicit the vote of the public, and she has succeeded. The nature of her 
candidacy. Yeah, doing hella dick riding. Yeah, he he making sure. Yep, she doing. She's going to succeed. You know, yeah, he trying to get back in. He probably don't even believe all this shit. He just, she just, she just nigga want to hit one more time before he die. <laughs> this nigga trying to smash. He's like, this is my last chance. This nigga trying to smash one more time. He trying to. This this is his version of hey big head. Nigga ain't did an interview since ninety one. Now all of a sudden he want to talk about how great Kamala is, how much he love her. You know, yeah, he definitely uh, you know, he he trying to get some ass. He ain't trying to help her campaign. This nigga trying to get some ass. This nigga trying to smash one more time with his authorized ass. He ain't he trying to hit that pussy one more. He trying to hit that light skin, uh, whatever race she is ambiguous race pussy again she want to he want to hit that aka howard pussy again before he go that's all this is this is a, it's just one one last ditch effort attempt you know one, one, one last effort attempt to hit that ass again you know it's all good you know he, he trying to you know old niggas gonna do what old niggas do it is what it is so uh yeah man that just lets you know that lets you know that you, that lets you know right there that your bitch is always gonna have a nigga you know, for the relationship niggas and all, it's always a nigga that's gonna remember that pussy forever. All right, that nigga say he's still in love with the bitch, and we're talking about this is 2024, right? That shit was all the way back in 19, the early 90s. It's always a bitch who done fucked your. It's always a nigga who done fucked your bitch. 20, 30 years ago, still thinking about that pussy, and all they gotta do is say the right things, and she'll go right back. Niggas, hey, you niggas, it's always a nigga, just like it's always a bitch. Think about it, it's always the bitch you didn't smash years ago. I still remember head from years ago. I'm still like, damn, that shit, that shit hit. Ain't no name bitch, no bitch in the suck like that since then. You know, that nigga still thinking about pussy from 30 years ago. He could he could have said, no, I'm not in love with her. That was a while ago. No, that nigga made it clear, I'm in love. Very much so. That bitch can that, that nigga trying to get back in. He said, I'm in love very much so. Okay. He made it clear. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm, I want that shit again, bitch. Let's, let's run that shit back. That nigga trying to spin the block. That nigga trying to spin the block, dead ass. So anyway, 